Hey, what's up? My name is Tackless, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial that a lot of people have been asking for. It was number one most popular um, request on Twitter for me to do. So I figured I might as well go ahead and do it. It's fairly simple, but there's also a lot of things that we can do, and that is enemy drops on death. I'm also going to be looking at enemy drops on glory kill and enemy drops on hurt. Um, and we're going to be looking at all kinds of fun stuff. And it's not too difficult, but it really gives a lot of layers as to what we want to do um, with gameplay. And how to have a randomized drop on death, so like a chance that they're going to drop something. Alright, let's go first test things out. Got some guys here. Now I've got a little bit overkill, and every time they get injured, they drop some armor. Definitely overkill. If I go ahead and execute him, I get some health, some armor, and some ammo. Kill this guy, and that guy dropped a mega health and armor. Not every one of them will do that. Oh, and all of them when they die, they drop these arrow-shaped containers. So if we go ahead and kill these guys, that guy dropped another mega. Execute, and we get some new stuff. You get the gist of things, right? Let's go ahead and return back to the editor. Now before I hop into this too far, I have a couple of quick things I want to go over. First, I'm planning on doing another live stream tomorrow in Doom, not necessarily to build an entire game. A lot of people have been sending me requests for me to look over their worlds or play or review them, and I think it'd be pretty fun to try to do that live on stream so you guys get to see my initial reactions, um, and maybe I can play some worlds with uh, subscribers or viewers or whatever. So tune in tomorrow, Saturday the, uh, I think it's the 28th, whatever. Uh, yeah, tune in then, and we'll do a stream. Second thing, doing some new things with my audio. Let me know if my audio sounds better. Anyways, let's hop in and see if we can get this going. Go ahead and delete that. And that. So here, this is just the player spawn, and I gave him a loadout. Let's go ahead and look at how to add general drops for the enemies. So first, let's go to player and team, put down a player proxy on player spawned then we're going to go over to gameplay we're going to pick gameplay settings set active then we go into the settings here here we get all the wonderful things um like armor drops ammo drops health drops loot drops for ai kills also worth mentioning here's the revival settings turn that on and you can revive your teammates um, and what's important here these two are important drop loot for ai kills and drop loot for glory kills if we turn off drop loot for ai kills then only glory kills drop um drop stuff um it's also worth going through all these different settings they're all really helpful but um i'm gonna go ahead and disable these just because i want to focus on the drops that we that we program in ourselves so we'll turn off armor ammo health all this neat stuff okay now let's look at having different types of drops first we're going to need to grab an ai proxy put this down then on killed and this is gonna be if we want them to always drop something when they die let's go to spawners we'll have them drop a container containers are always wonderful spawn object now a couple of things we need to look at first is on killed we need to switch the activator from killer to demon then we need to switch spawn object from explicit location to activator. Pretty much we changed it from focusing on the player who kills the enemy to the demon who's being killed and we're gonna spawn the object at the demon being killed. Then for the spawn container, we can pick what model of uh, container we wanna render. And in a second here, I'll show you, I have every single model of containers lined up there. So you can see what they're all like. But let's just do the one that's far too long for anyone to say. Then we can choose how much ammo we want in it, how much health, how much armor. Worth mentioning, the health and the armor gives the exact number of health that you're um, programming. So if you want to have them take exactly 46 health after picking this up, set it to 46 and they'll pick that much health up. Another awesome thing you can do is you can have a resource type. If you're using a currency, like a resource, either a team or player resource, you can have them pick up a certain amount of resource out of these um, these containers. There's also transfer resource and use percentage. I'm not gonna go into that, um, but let's go ahead and give like 
No, we're not going to do armor. Let's do like 5 health, 10 health, and 1 ammo pack. There we go. So every time any enemy on the map dies, they will always drop this container. Let's go ahead and also do a similar thing for on hurt. Uh, let's do spawn armor because armor shards are just so nice and small. On hurt, this is usually always set to activator demon like it should be. Spawn object, need to switch this from explicit location back to activator. And then, yep, spawn armor, we've already got that done. So every time an a enemy is hurt, they will also drop armor. So um, if you shoot them a lot of times with your gun, then they'll drop a bunch of armor. Should be pretty self-explanatory. Next, let's start looking at the more exciting stuff, like how to get them to randomly drop certain uh, things, like have a chance. So first, we're gonna go to variables and we're gonna pick an integer. Put that down, we'll make a new one and we're gonna select random. Let's name this integer chance to drop. Pick the icon of Doomguy helmet, okay? Then for this little uh, node here, the random reference, go take a look at that. And we need to set the minimum value, let's put that to one, and then the maximum value to three. So it'll randomize between one and three, and then it'll assign that variable to either one, two, or three. Let's say that you were replicating Call of Duty zombies and you wanted this to be um, like a max ammo, obviously you would need to increase this substantially. I don't know what the actual drop rates are for like max ammo and stuff, but I'm guessing it's like one in a couple of hundred. Um, next, we just set the variable. Now we need it to do something with that variable. On killed, we need to switch this back to demon. And here is also something fun that I forgot to mention a little bit earlier. We can change the cause of death. So if you want this to only happen on non-glory kill or only happen on glory kill, you can set it to that. But on kill, we're going to go over here to flow and do an integer compare. Test. And then on equal, we're going to spawn. Go to spawner. Let's spawn a power-up because power-ups are awesome. Once again, we need to change the spawn object to activator. And because our activator is the demon, it will spawn at the demon's location. Now I need to tweak this integer compare. So I've gone over this much more extensively in my random box tutorial. So if you get confused what I'm doing here, go reference that. Uh, but we're going to pick our chance to drop. And, our, and the right hand side is going to be 1. So whenever this is randomized and it equals 1, then we'll spawn this. So it has a 1 in 3 chance every time I kill an enemy. There we go. Um, also worth mentioning that let's say you wanted... It, like, like just using Call of Duty Zombies as an example. Uh, if you wanted there to be a chance to drop max ammo and also a chance to drop double points... We'll go here and do another integer compare. And this one, the left-hand side, once again, will be chance to drop, and the right-hand side will be two. And then when this is equal, then we'll spawn another power-up. Okay, spawn object at activator's location. For this one, we'll do the mega health. For this one, let's do quad damage. There we go. So, we've got a lot of stuff done here. Now, I'm not recommending that you put all of these on the map at the same time. I'm just showing you how to do everything, and it's pretty entertaining to see everything drop at once. Alrighty, starting match. Before I go in and start showing off all the cool drops, let's take a look at all the containers. Poof. Look at all these things. So many containers. So I just put these in order as they come from the settings. So we've got our 3D arrow, our boot, our bottle, our briefcase, our spiky ball, clock, even if it looks kind of like a disc, it is a clock, uh, a cylinder and a pyramid. I don't know what those things are called, cones? That's a cone, I think. Cube, cylinder, diamond box, drill, flag, glove, helmet, 
Um, neat looking shape. <laughs> Phone, pyramid, wrench. Um, another, it's kind of like a ball, but not quite. Another spiky ball, teapot, pyramid, and donut. Some of these um, have, yeah, they're all just pretty neat looking, so I'll go ahead and pick all these guys up. Now it's satisfying. Let's go ahead and hurt some of these guys now. So on damage, we get a armor drop. Also works for melee. We got all, oh, we got a quad damage out of that guy. So we kill this guy. Uh, no special drop from him. Kill this guy. No special drop. Oh, we got another quad damage from him, which I can't pick up, but. Let's do an execution. Another quad damage. That guy dropped the uh, mega health. So yeah, hopefully you get the gist of things. Um, that there's a lot of flexibility here. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Hopefully it helped you out. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, whatnot, be sure to leave something below. It's worth mentioning, as with any of these creative type games like Project Spark or... I haven't played much with it, but I'm assuming Little Big Planet as well. Um, there's lots of ways to do the same thing. And I'd recommend whatever system works best for you is the best system for you. You don't have to do exactly how I do it. If you find a system that works better for you, go for it. I prefer the, um, obviously what I just showed you here. That's what I'm into. That's the logic I like and whatnot. So, but if you guys have any other ways of doing the same things, I know other people have commented in other videos that they've found uh, alternate ways to do things that I've shown in my videos. But yeah, if you guys have an alternate way, be sure to leave it in the comments, um, especially if you have like any good reasons why your way is better. Definitely interested to learn any of that. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you'll take a look at my stream tomorrow and I will see you guys later.